From my own experience, in terms of uh, what I saw in service in the Royal Air Force, I would say it's up to more towards a sort of 80%, 85% availability. But then you really have to ask the question, what is availability? Is it how many aircraft on your squadron are ready to fly first thing in the morning? That's what most people ask, actually. And then I would say, so RF, my experience, is, is up towards 85%. But, uh, but really, uh, is it uh, when you go on operation or when you're on, uh, in a combat environment, how many times are you able to fulfill the mission? Well, my, my experience in Libya was we hit 97% of, uh, of our mission lines. So that's when it really counts, when, you're, when you take the aircraft to war. So I think those are the sort of figures that, that I, you know, I would be, as a, as a potential customer, really most interested in. And then finally, you go, well, actually, availability is driven by the amount of spares you have and also by how much you're flying the aircraft. And again, in the UK, we fly aircraft pretty hard. So we're up at sort of 220 hours. In Libya, in fact, some of our airframes are flying 50 hours or more a month. So it shows you how reliable the aircraft is. When you throw spares and resource at the aircraft, it will keep flying and flying. So, you know, those, those, you have to really look below those headlines and you actually have to look into the detail and make sure that you're comparing the same numbers with the, with the same figures from the, from the opposition.